Ooh. Yo, replica. Of course, the uh, actual. If you want to uh, find yourself an actual old school GT40, you gotta go into bond finds. It's the only way to find it. What's going on, YouTube? My name is Diesel, and today we're back. Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, baby. Just hanging out here in the junkyard, picking up some good stuff, getting some good fixings, baby. Trying to find out what uh, what to do today. What to do? Mm, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, she is nice, isn't she? She's gorgeous. She is gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Oh, ooh, Barracuda. Yeah. Oh, we got ourselves a hammy baby. You got yourself a hammy baby. Woo. Yes, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, rejoice. The Plymouth DLC is out on Steam, and of course, my Hemi engine is not fixed. Dang it. All right. Fine. 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 Yep, Plymouth DLC is here. Gives you two brand new cars, brand new whips, and a brand new track. Got ourselves a drag track now, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hemi means it's orange. Yep. The uh, Plymouth DLC comes with a... Uh, a Barracuda, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum, a Hemi Barracuda, baby. and also a Plymouth uh, Roadrunner, and that's hot, and that's what's up. And of course, all of these parts are going to be brand new to us, except for the piston. Let's go ahead and put some pistons in here. Oh, <laughs> oh, well then, piston with cone rounds. We're gonna, we're, we're checking out a lot of different kinds of parts here. We've never messed around with. All right, let's see here. Uh, do we have performance pistons? Do we? Do we really? We do. Good. 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 More for me and you. Okay. So let's go ahead and we'll pop these in here. Very. Uh, everything's diff Everything's different. Fear. We fear change. We fear change. See here, eight. Ah, uh, all right. Hemi four two six. Uh, Hemi's were, uh, I believe, built by the Chrysler Corporation like way back in the sixties, way back in the day, which was a Tuesday, according to Dane Cook. Um, and the Chrysler Corporation encompassed like a bunch of different uh, brands that you know today, things like uh, Jeep, Dodge, Plymouth, all kinds of fun stuff. Oh, I'm just putting rod caps. All kinds of fun stuff. But the Plymouth, I don't know. Plymouths were really super popular. Like uh, when Plymouths first came into the mix, they were basically there to compete in the 20s with uh, Ford and Chevy. And they were meant to be like a lower price kind of, of, of ride for the normal everyday man. For the everyday man. Um, like most cars in like the 20s or 30s, like the gangster cars. You think like the old school gangster Hard top, 1940s Plymouth, the hard as rock, things made of steel. Don't know how that they got over 40 miles an hour because they were just so heavy. Those are Plymouths. <laughs> just a just a wrecking machine of metal. It's hot. I like it. I like it a lot. But Plymouth you don't hear uh, anymore nowadays because Plymouth is no longer around. Aww. Aww. It's like in the 90s we had uh, this phase of, all right, so we got these American cars, these American car companies got, you know what, let's, let's go back, let's go way back. Let's get some old school stuff in here and just really spice it up. Everyone will love it. Let's come out with a thing. I got it. Let's call it the Prowler. Ooh. Although the Prowlers I did kind of like. Of course, when I, they first came out, I was, I was like 14, so when it... When it comes out, like a car like that comes out and you see it for the first time, you're like, wow. Because at the time, you're like, oh, is this going to be the new thing? You never knew. You, like, you didn't know if it was going to be the thing where all these car companies that were still around were going to come out with, like, new, kind of, like, newer yet retro type versions of their car. Just modified up. I was kind of excited. And then Chrysler put out the PT Cruiser, and that was gross. <laughs> just, just, just not, just not fun for anybody. Um, man. Okay, let's see here. Scams. Yeah, the Plymouth, uh, the Prowler I liked. In my dumb high school brain. I did. I, I enjoyed the, I enjoyed those rides. 
I enjoyed those whips when they came out. It was different. It was different, something we never seen before. Well, we have seen before, but it's like a newer version. Except for the PT Cruiser. Which I'm sure someone in the comments is going to be like, My mom had a PT Cruiser, I love that car! Hey man, hey man, that's you. That's you. And that's good. Glad you had those memories. <laughs> Just know that the PT Cruiser is garbage. It's trash. No offense. No offense. These are all opinions. So, let's go ahead and get some engine heads up in here. I think this is our first time that we're rocking a, rocking a Hemi. I forget which one we had to look at. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Alright, engine head B, H. A and B, H. A and B, H. Ready, set. A and B, H. What? A and B, H. Yeah. Mm. Ah! Beautiful. Now, the Cudas, on the other hand, Plymouth Barracuda. It's American Apple Pie, baby. It's American Apple Pie. Uh, I believe that they started uh, production in uh, the Barracudas in the 60s, 64 ish esque roundabouts. Give or take. 64? I'm not quite sure. Someone fact check me. Um, but the 1964, like the 60s Barracudas. Look way different than the style of Barracuda that uh, I think are, is most popular. It's the most popular kind. What kind of stupid nonsense is that? Alright, note to self everybody, make sure you put the spark plugs on first before you go ahead and put on anything else. Because that rocker arm is really going to jam up your junk. There's no bueno, my friend. No bueno, no bueno. Rocker arms. Rocker. I have a rocker. I like how the rocker arms are one, is one piece. We're going to get two of those Jones because we don't have it on the other side. Uh, but yeah, the 1960s uh, Barracudas look way different than the actual 1970s Barracudas because they changed complete body style. So if anybody takes a look at... Oh, I got two of these. Oh, okay. oh, we, fixed, oh we fixed it. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. I'm like, why do I have two of these? Oh, because I repaired it. Oh, yeah. I can repair parts. Dur, dur. So... Good. Good. Oh, F. Oh, so there's two kinds. Uh, Val. Thought I got. I only got eight. I need a 16. It's been a while since I messed with Val push rods because I hate them. Because they're annoying. But yeah, the 1970. Like the 70s. I think the Barracuda's last one was in like 74, 75 ish. And they were all modeled off of Dodge Challenger. So if you see a Barracuda and you're like, that kind of looks like a Dodge Challenger, you're not technically wrong. You're not technically wrong. Not wrong. That's what they were modeled off of. Very good. Engine head cover. Engine. Hello, timer. Engine head cover. 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 We need some covers, yeah. And just to be sure, just to be sure, engine head cover A, engine head cover B, engine head cover A. <laughs> it just says, just says straight up A, engine head cover A. Okay. Engine head cover. Hmm. Right. Okay. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, how uh, Plymouth Barracudas look a lot like Dodge Chargers, and you're not wrong if you think that it kind of look kind of looks like a Charger. Now, of course, there are differences. The differences to every car, everything every car is a unique snowflake. It's in a unique buttercup, butter, butter, butter flake, buttercup, butter, butter flake. Exhaust manifold. Manifold. Because we're man. Manifold. Because we're man. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Which kind do we need to succeed? Baby. Uh, oh, grab, grab one of those. Uh, let's see. Which one do we need again? I'm sorry. V8 OHV H. V8 OHV H. Two of them Jones right there, sir. Beautiful. Put them down right here. Very good. Very good. 
Betty Gold indeed. Uh, let's hop over to the tuning parts because I forgot a pat. Just gonna have to get that ignition coil right there, bruh. Gotta get that ignition coil, bruh. I think I got everything else though. I think I got everything else. We shall see. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and put this manifold on this side before we forget. We cannot be forgetful. We cannot. I mean, we can. It's not gonna be the end of the world, but we'll figure it out. But yeah, so the 1970. Oh. Carburetor A and B. How stupid is that? <laughs> Come on. Come on, man. Uh, these carburetors you can't get in the performance tuning shop. You just can't. It's a shame. It's a shame, really. My friends, we're here for you to hang out. Put them together. Uh, let's see. Pop you here. What else we got? Oh, look at that. Air filter base Hemi Cuda. We'll get that in a second. Let's go ahead and put the rest of the pieces on here before we forget. We're going to have to get some pumps and pulleys and all kinds of such and such doodads, whatnots, and hand me down. Let's go ahead and water pump. Boom. And we're going to need a water pump pulley. Oh, forgot that. I was like, well, well, what's going on here? Gonna need some ams. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Boom. Boom. V eight O H V. Sexy. Beautiful. How about that arm? Okay, so we got that arm. Arm A. Arm A. Boom 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 boom. Let's grab this, yeah, because they're orange there, but that's how we know which one we need to buy. Bum, 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 yeah. But yeah, so Plymouths don't, uh, Plymouths aren't around anymore. 2001, last one, it's mostly because they didn't have an identity, so I mean, how many people have you ever heard go, you know what I want to purchase? I think I'm going to get a Plymouth Breeze. Yeah. That's a, you know what, that is, that is a quality investment. Or how about this? A Plymouth Neon. Yeah, not a Dodge Neon. Plymouth Neon. See, that was the problem. Was that everyone was buying the other ones from Dodge and neglecting Plymouth. Plymouth's version, which is pretty much it's the same car. It's the same car other than a badge. It's the same car other than a different badge. And that was the problem. A lot of their cars got picked up by, like, Dodge. Oh. What are we going to Power steering pump V. Oh. Okay. A lot of their cars were picked up by, uh, like, the, the, just the model types were brought up by uh, Dodge and Mitsubishi. Um, but their caravans were probably the most ones, like the ones that I've seen. The Dodge Caravan and the Plymouth Caravan. And I'm in the wrong place again. Uh, let's see here. But yeah, when they closed down, I was not bummed. It's not like I'm like, ah, <laughs> ah, what happened? Plymouth is gone. I just did that again. I just did that again. Power steering pump. Lose my, lose my freaking mind over here. Lose my, lose my mind over here. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. Let's go ahead and we'll put you there. And as far as the belts, serpentine belt. Uh, what kind is it? V8 OHV. Do 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 do. Mambo. Yeah. Beautiful. What else? Now what are you gonna give me? <laughs> huh? 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 You got problems? You wanna fight about it? Alright, let's go. There we go. Grab you. And a fan. It's good to have fans. It's good to have fans. Keeps everything cool. Keeps everything cool. Everything's gonna be fine. Now how comes that? Okay, everything else is V8 OHV. Until they get to the fan, they're like, nah, nah, we're just gonna make that we're just gonna make that a regular fan. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on, man, you're killing me, son. You are killing me, son. Oh, we're gonna need some clips too. We're gonna need some clips. Gotta keep on that distributor cap. 
But yeah, I I remember Plymouth from not just the oh kind of yeah, okay, the ignition wire, not just from the uh, the cars and things like that. But I remember that I didn't like the badge when they died. Like when when they died, they didn't die. Well, technically they did. Um, they're not in business anymore. Their logo in like the last like decade was less to be desired. <laughs> it's just like hmm, no. No, I'm not. I'm not. I don't enjoy this. Someone tell them. Someone tell them I do not enjoy this. I just thought it looked ugly. It was just like a sailboat. It's like, hi, oh, we're going to put a sailboat on the front of the car. This is classy. I'm like, no, it's not, son. This is not. I don't want to buy. I don't want this car. You know what? I'll go buy that. Uh, I'll tell you what I'll go. I'm going to go buy that Dodge Neon with the Ram on the front of it. People's minds go that way, man. They're like, no, no, I'm not. I'm, I don't. I don't want this. I don't want this, and I don't. Where's our? Uh, we get a hoot scoop or something. Ah, Hamakuda. Wow! I forgot to get the filter. Think of a Pat Benatar, baby. Queen. Beautiful. Excellent pipes. Sing and I forgot. Oh no, no, we didn't forget that. Oh yeah, oh good. Oh shaker, we got a mover and shakers here, baby. Look at that shake, 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 to shake, shake, to shake, guy. Uh, beautiful. And let's go ahead. I can't get to the back here. All right, so we did everything. Yay! All the plugs are in with a grin. Look at that. Well, I'll tell you what, that looks pretty. That sure, that sure does look pretty. Now, if you are a, a fan of the last series of the uh, 2015, let's go ahead and lower this down. What do you say? Uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2015, you'll remember that the drag strip was the reason why I didn't do any uh, racing. Because every single time I would try to drive it, it would be a mess. And I would hate my life. I would run into the wall. And go, alright, I'm good. So hopefully, it's been adjusted a smidge, a tad, a hint. To where it's not impossible to drive the car. I don't know what it was, just for me though. For me, didn't like it. Let's go ahead while that is charging. We'll bring this over to the second lift. Ah. Drop over here, boom, ha boom. Oh, 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 I almost got you. So the reason why we came over here. I have a feeling we're gonna put some nice rims on this night boy. I have a feeling we're gonna get some good goings on here. Hello, hi, welder, okay. Okay, come on. There we go. Crap brown. <laughs> Seven seventies brown. Every time I see a car that's like this, I'm like, yeah man, that is sad. That is that is seventies, man. That's almost like, hey yeah, we don't care what uh I don't we, we don't care that you look at this car. We don't care. We're just gonna paint it garbage pan brown. I don't need a brake servo. Let's see if we can repair some of these parts here. Just a radiator. I don't think we can. Oh, we can! Nice. Nice. Okay. Break. Break. I'm looking right at it, but I can't see it. Dun, 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 dun. Now, the uh, bottom part of this is unmarkable. Do it to put a uh, performance fuel filter in there. And then put the drive shaft in, so we're not done over here. Plus, we have to put the gearbox on, all that fun stuff. Let's go ahead a while here, and we'll grab the steering wheel and the front drive seat. Let's go ahead, and we'll put this in the normal mode. We're normal, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Radiator C. Awesome sauce. Let's go ahead and put some oil on this joint. Just barely. Shh, don't worry that the particles are going through the hood too. Or the shaker. Or 
whatever you want to call it. Alright. Nice. Okay, so let's start taking off some of these pieces right here, baby. Uh, body parts. Body parts. Blue. Uh huh. I mean, we'll take that part off. Okay, so that's all. That all this whole front end is just a part of the car. Okay. All right. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna promise I wouldn't say anything. How about tail lights? There we go, baby. Anything else? Nope. No windows in there. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that scoop on here. We'll put at least a hood on you. Bugaboo. We have nothing here. Put that bumper on there. How about the doors? I think it's just the right door. That's all I got is the right door. Oh, we got a wing. Do you have the wing? Mowage. Mowage is what brings us together today. And lights. They don't fix. Ugh. <laughs> it's so gross looking. Oh, we got an antenna too? Oh, nice. Spiffy. Spiffy. Do they have any performance parts? Any tuning body shop parts? For a CUDA. How about a Plymouth? There's nothing at all. Great, now I'm gonna have that stuck, song stuck in my head. And you know what? You're oh, it's got that gross badge. How dare you play away? Or red dot. How dare you make that the oh, it's so gross. It's such an ugly logo. Plymouth, it's a sailboat. Gross. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's triggering. Like, man, does that not that makes me not even want to drive it to be honest with you. It makes me not even want to hop in it, but we're going to. We're going to. Oh, 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 some regular hood. Nothing crazy. Let's go ahead and put on the fenders. Uh, front bumper. Oh, we got a rear bumper. Gotta get that rear bumper going on. Right? Rear window. Boom. 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 And trunk. All right. Put on them lights. Camera action. Put in all the mirrors. Do you have the wing? Oh, I got wings. Oh, I got wings, baby. We're going to fly. Boom. And right side mirror. Huh? Let's grab some license plates here, and then we'll get some interior. <laughs> license plate. Yeah, they're all license plates. Dummy. Diesel, you're stupid. Huh? 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 You're not wrong. Diesel. Because I'm keeping this joint. Because I want a Barracuda. Forever. It's going to be an all day thing. It's going to be stuck in your brain. And you're welcome. Let's go ahead, pop it in there. Nice. Guess we're gonna need to go ahead and put in some material, I suppose. Oh, we got a bench too. Front left seat. Steering wheel. Alright. No, no. Let's go ahead and hop into the interior. I wonder if Cuda. No, not Cuda. Who's Cuda? Who's Cuda? It's a naughty word in some in some slang terms. Cuda. Ha 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 ha. All right. <clears throat> Enough fun, apparently. <laughs> Otherwise, you demonetize. I'm already demonetized. It's gonna be fine. It's amazing. There are literally no characters in, in this game. No violence. I'm just putting together a car. 
and it'll get demonetized before I even release it. But let me tell you, who cares? Looking sexy. It's looking good. Uh, what kind of tires do we have in this jam here? Uh, well, the rims are 15 inches. And I like these rims too. I think it'll go nice, but I want them bigger. I want them bigger. What are the uh, what are the actual tires looking like here? Oh, radial, oh, vintage race tire. I'll pass on the vintage, please. Uh, 21570. Hmm. 21570. 18. 21570. 18. 21570. 18. I mean, we'll put race tires on it, but not vintage race tires. Yeah. Making them a little bigger. Making them a little bit bigger. Ah, crap. What was the. I always forget the profile. I always forget the profile of the tires. Uh, I, I can spell it out. 70. I think we're going to make that 60. 215, 60. Uh, 65. 215, 65. 215, 65. 215. I'll go 65. Because we're going 18 inch rims. Ah, oh, you're going to be weird like that. 215, 65. Four of them joints. Ha boom! And then we'll grab some rims. I like the Atlantis. ATLs, baby. Let's grab four of them. All right. It's a 15 inch, and that's not what we need. There we go. There's the 18 inch that we knew and that I'm, I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> that we're trying, trying to get our hands on here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Install. 18. And then we'll put you over here. Let's go ahead and balance these out. You're gonna look sexy. You're gonna look so pretty after this. Uh, we also have to get some exhaust. The exhaust is a little bit different. And that's exhausting. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see. BF Great Roll. Ha! Ah! Oh, oh, Red Dog, you're, you're slick. You are slick, I tell you that right now. You, I tell you that right now. Alright. BF, great roll. That roll is great. That is a great roll. That is so good. Ugh. So, we might as well just lift this up on the high, high lifter. Well, some performance parts that we have to put on there as well, because uh, the I'm not quite sure what the exhaust. I know the tailpipes are completely different. One more, one more go. Let's go take a little break, take a little breather. Mm-hmm. Says no smoking for a reason, because this would be exactly where everyone's just hanging out, and having their smoke break, just. Chilling out over here next to the tire machine. The mechanic I go to, the local mechanic, he is one of those guys, like an old school dude that just... <laughs> I never see him without a cigarette in his mouth. I'm just like, you know that you could probably... Just say, hey man, like... Can you not like lean into the car while you're smoking? So, can you just take it out? Take out the cigarette out of your mouth. I don't care what you do with your car at your home. But when you're working on my car, one, for sure, take the cigarette out of your mouth. <laughs> and then for two, for sure, don't have a cigarette while you're looking at my engine. Now nah, I know nothing could possibly happen, but still, there's all kinds of moving parts. There's oil around there. Just let's, 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 let's just take it easy there, buddy. Nice guy, though. Nice guy. Good guy. Good guy. Good guy. Good guy. Nice guy. Good guy. All right. Let's get that fuel pump. Look at this. Rear muffler Hemi Cuda. Do we have any other different... Let's see the rear muffler? Rear muffler? Rear muffler is in this whole one piece. And then we got middle mufflers, which we have for performance parts, and then exhaust pipes, V8 OHV-A. Let's check it. V8 OHV... No ways. 
No A's. All B's. We're B students. Uh, let's see. V8 OHV A. Let's grab two of those. A over here. And the tailpipes for a CUDA. CUDA. <clears throat> there we are. Let's grab two of them jams right there. So the only performance parts we're going to get are the middle mufflers. Oh well. You know, at least we got something. At least we got some. Err, err. Just turned to DMX there. Uh, let's see. F. Fantastic. And we'll need a starter. Wunderbar, my friends. Wunderbar. Very good. Let's get that drive shaft in there, baby. And then we'll put on the rest of the... Oh, oh the drive shaft doesn't feel like it wants to repair. Doesn't feel like it wants to repair, huh? <gasps> okay. <laughs> Sorry, didn't fix. Sorry, right, right, that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Middle muffler. Middle muffler. Awesome. 100%, 100%, 100%. I purchased this for, what, 13 grand? Probably put a 20 grand-ish esque, roundabouts, give or take, into it. 88,000 car value, but we're keeping it. So, I mean, who really cares about numbers? All right, let's head on over to the paint shop. Go ahead, girl. Don't you stop. Oh! Now, barracudas. Whenever I think of a barracuda. I think of it in yellow. Get a yellow style barracuda now. It does kind of look green. <laughs> Let's get the yellow there. Now it does come with some liveries. Hemi, yeah, I got a hemi black, hemi white. Ah, I don't care for the hemi white. I don't know. It kind of looks like trash. It kind of looks like trash. Like I wish they had a kind of like the. Uh, there was a paint shop where they had the CUDA, like a CUDA, just it was uh, uh, just like one lone black stripe that went all the way along, and then inside the black stripe it said CUDA. Um, but this looks like p -p -p pure trash, so <laughs> I will not be putting you on my whip, sir, sir, sir. Look at my eyes, sir. All right. So we got this. I don't care for the just the straight. Yeah, we go. A little yellow mixed in with a little green. All green, everything, no saying. Let's go ahead and paint that rod. Let's paint that whip. That looks nice. All right. I'll take you. Let's head on over to the dyno and see what this Hemi can pump out, man. Ow, 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 door, ow. I'll tell you what, you're a little bit all right right there, man. You are a little bit all right right there, man. Boom. Ha boom. Ready, set. Good, good. 565 horsepower. Looking nice. A little bit better than the normal. Good, good, good. Good. All right. Since we are d -d 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 done, let's go check out the new drag strip and let's see if I can embarrass myself. Sound good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want. Yeah, I want to see that. Okay. So where is our new speed track? That's where we go to get speed. Well. If this is a little bit easier than uh, the last uh, iteration of Car Mechanic Simulator where I don't like just spin out for uh, no reason, then this will be fantastic. We actually get a quarter mile track time so we can compare. Okay. we go. It's much easier. Uh, 
Look at this. Tracks our top speed. That's where we're topping out at 261. Hit the NOS! Hit the NOS! Hey! Hit the NOS! Oh god! Hey man. Oh crap. <laughs> oh. What? Wait, what happened? Yeah, restart. Let's restart that. I want to restart that. Alright, so here's what sets it off. Just hitting forward. Here we go. Topping out, 261. Trying not to hit the turning. It's a nightmare. Okay, so here's the weird thing. Like you cross the line and then as you cross the line it just goes return to garage or restart. But then it doesn't stop the timer. Like What is it? Is this is this is this how they race in Poland? Well, it's, no one tracks down the quarter mile time. It just keeps on going. <laughs> this is this a Polish thing? No, it can't be. It can't be. That's impossible. It's impossible. If I would have restarted, this is, that's nonsense. All right, stop the clock. Try one more time. Although we wrecked in spectacular fashion. Let's do it on the inside. Oh yeah. Here we go. Top it out. It's looking all right. Cool. I'm guessing it was 28 seconds. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Oh, my head, my neck, my back. Good thing I have a Hans device on. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll return to the garage. Yeah, so that's a little weird. That was a little funky. I don't know how I, I feel about that. Hopefully that they make that better. <laughs> Can I get a timer and not... Don't put up the screen. Just let me finish the race. Give me the time. And then I can hit escape like I can for every other test track if I want to leave it. Not the second you cross the finish line, like, hey, you're done, right? Well, no, technically your timer's still going. So apparently this race ain't over. <laughs> oh, damn it. So nice. Very nice. Our very first Plymouth Barracuda. It's sexy, though. It's pretty. I like that. It's got speed holes. I'm just playing. Just playing. Let's just check out the inside of it real quick. I like those seat belts. Real safe. Real safe for the 70s. Oh, it's got the Cuda. Oh, I like that. It's got the sexy dashboard interior. Got a little wood grain for everybody. Nice. Doesn't have the uh, foot accelerator. I want the foot stomp. I want the stomp foot. In my hemi? Yes, that's right. I said hemi. This is the Joe Dirt car, baby. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Nice. But folks, that's going to be your episode for today. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. Helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead. Hit subscribe. New videos coming out every single day, every single week, folks. Have a great day, afternoon, evening. A good night. Peace out, like, shout y'all. And I will check you out right here again in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, baby. Next time. You're sexy. <laughs>